good evening today we are going to solve the some problem of fluid mechanics on hydrostatic forces now in this hydrostatic forces uh, we have seen study related with uh, three surfaces one surface is horizontal second surface is vertical and third surface is inclined and some problem we will see for first two cases so we have determined the total pressure and depth of center pressure on a plane rectangular surface of 1 meter wide and 3 meter deep and its upper edge is horizontal and coincides with water a part we have coincides with water and b part we have two meter below the free surface so we have this is first coincide with the water and we have given 3 meter depth 1 meter width so we have h bar that is uh, center center of uh, gravity of this that is 1.5 meter then we have area 3 into 1 3 meter square and force we have calculated rho g a into h bar so we have water sir so, so rho g is 9810 1000 into 9.81 into 3 into 1.5 And we have four four one four five newton. Then I G we know we have B D Q by twelve, and that value we have nine by four meter to the power four. And value of H star. So we are going to say this as center of pressure, and this we have to calculate I G upon A H bar plus H bar. So I G we have calculated A H bar. We know area is three, and H bar is one point five. Plus h bar 1.5, and if we calculate this, then we are going to get this value that is equal to two meters. So we have for first case h bar we have two meter, and we have the pressure that is acting at this point, and we have this pressure that is equal to 44.145 kilonewton. now second case we have this is at uh, uh, so second case we have 2 meter below the water surface so we have this distance as 2 meter and then centroid we have from water surface h bar is distance of centroid from water surface and therefore we will get it as 2 plus this distance is 1.5 in total we will get it as 3.5 meters then remaining things are same we have no change but due to h bar your value of f changes ig remains as it is h bar changes and therefore we have this value 3.714 that is from water surface and force we have 103 kN at this center of pressure then we have another problem determine the total pressure on a circular plate so in this we have circular plate and this is at a distance 2 meter below the water surface means here we need not require to consider centroid here we have directly given centroid from free liquid surface and then we have to find position of center of pressure same way we have to go for this so a then f Then we have I G pi by sixty four d four f we have rho G A H bar and then H bar. So now we have H bar. So this is H star. I will say center of pressure. And then I G we have calculated A H bar. We know plus H bar gives us two point zero seven meter. So we have at two point zero seven meter force is thirty four point six six eight. So we have force at this point. Thirty-four point six six eight kilonewtons. So likewise, we have to solve the problems. Now we have a rectangular fluid. B is not given, and we have to prove that the depth of center of pressure is given by eight point three seven five meter. Now let us we will assume over here. Assume width of gate. Assume width of gate equal to B, and then we have this as six B. I G we have 
bd cube by 12 18 b and if we will put it in h star we have bb cancel and then we will get this value as 8.375 meters which we have to prove then we have for the circular opening 3 meter diameter so you can see i have shown here so we have opening this is 3 meter diameter so we have this as uh, uh, side elevation so this is 3 meter diameter so we have three meters. So if you will plot it, then you have this as a circle. So three meter diameter, uh, close by disk of three meter diameter, which can rotate about horizontal diameter. Calculate the force on the disk and the torque required to maintain the disk in equilibrium in the vertical position. Now here it is mentioned what the head of the water above the horizontal diameter is six meter. Means we have uh, centroid that is at uh, 6 meter horizontal when we will put it horizontal then it is 6 meter then we have to find a first pi by 4 d square f rho g a into h bar f we have 4160 so we have this value that p at p we have this force and this is 416.081 kilonewton kilonewton now that we have to find out, so we have to use Ig, we have pi by 64 d4 and h star, that is center of pressure, Ig upon h bar plus h bar. And substituting all values, we are going to get h star, that is 6.0937 meters. Now we have to find out torque, so we have to take moment about centroid. So that is center of gravity and then we are going to get this is equal to h star minus h bar into f and that will give us 3900 0 pi 0.54 kilo newton meter so we have 39 kilo newton meter this is torque required then we have the till center of pipe we have pressure 29.43 newton per centimeter square and the specific gravity of oil is 0.87 means we have 870 as uh, mass density then we have to find out uh, the force exerted by the oil on the gate and position of center of pressure now this 29.43 is given pressure we have to find pressure head so how we will find uh, pressure head so we have P is equal to rho G into A, sorry, rho G H. So we have P is equal to rho G H. And therefore, if I have to find H, then I have P upon rho G. And from this, I will get pressure head. So we have calculated pressure head P upon gamma. So we know rho into G we have as gamma. And from this, we will get 34.483 meter with some reference. That reference we do not know, but with some reference, we have this value as 34.483 meters. Now, from this, we will get rho g a h bar as 2080.42 kilonewtons. Now, i g pi by 64 d4. So, diameter is given 3. And h star, now this is 34.499 with reference of this only now if i have to find out with center then this is at center and then we have to subtract this value from this so 34.499 minus 34.483 and then we will get it as 369810 so 0 0.016 meter from your center of pipe then we have the total pressure and center of pressure of an isosceles right angle triangle. And we have base 5 meter when the plate is immersed vertically in an oil and the plate is 1 meter below the free surface, means we are in this fashion. So this is right angle triangle. So isosceles, so I have this as 5 meter, then I have this as 5 meter, we have this as 1 meter. And then we have to find the values area, 1 half base into height, F rho G A into H bar, H bar is 1, 
plus h by from base we have h by 3 so this will be 5 by 3 and pi by 3 we will get 1.67 so h bar we will get it as 2.67 so h bar equal to 2.67 meters and then f we will get then ig we have b h cube by 36 about centroid and then h star we have ig upon h bar plus h bar will be 3.190 meters and then we have this as last one the opening is damp so you can see this uh, so we have opening at a of three meter wide and two meter deep so we have two meter deep opening which is at two meter from free liquid surface and specific gravity on upstream we have 1.5 uh, lies up to a height of two meters above the top of the gate whereas on the downstream side the water is available so we have specific gravity one and that is still the height of the gate and we have to find out resultant force and then we have to find position of center of pressure that is of resultant force so we will have a three into two because wide is three meter then f u upstream for upstream h bar we have uh, 1500 into 9.81 into we have rho g a we have six and then h bar we have three meters so we have this as one meter and we have this as two meter so we will get h bar from free liquid surface as three meters and we have this value 264.87 kilonewtons uh, so this will act at center of pressure uh, then we have fd rho g a h bar h bar now we have from free liquid surface we have this as two meter so we have center will be at one meter from free liquid surface so we have h bar one meter for this and then we have fd 58.86 kilonewtons and then the center of pressure from water surface for upstream so we have b d cube by 12 upon a into h bar plus h bar gives 3.111 meter so h upstream we have from hinge from hinge means we have from this bottom from free liquid surface we have 3.111 meter and from hinge we have 0.889 meter Similarly, HD from free uh, liquid surface that is on downstream and we have this value 1.333 meter and that is from hinge again from this bottom we have 2 minus 1.333 so 0 0.667 meter and then we have resultant force FU minus FD we will have 206.01 kilonewtons and center of pressure of resultant so we have F into uh, so we have summation f into h h bar divided by summation f and therefore we have f u into h star of upstream and then h star of do downstream for f d divided by f u minus f d and from this we will get a h star of resultant force 0.953 that is so this is from hinge so this is from hinge and if we have to find from top, that is uh, upstream side, then we will get it as 4 minus 0.953 meters. And then we will get 3.047 meters. So from downstream also we can find 2 minus likewise. So these are the some problems which are related with your upstream pressure. So we will stop here only today. So some problems we will see tomorrow. So thank you.